Hello everyone, today we are going to study chapter number 3, addition and subtraction, problem set number 12 we are going to complete today. The other exercises from this chapter is already been completed. The link will be provided in the description box. You all can watch it over there. So let's start with problem set number 12. Now this exercise is based on subtraction problem sums. So let's start with the first question. Prathamesh wants to buy a laptop worth rupees 27,450 rupees. He has 22,975 rupees. What is the amount he still needs to be able to buy to buy the laptop? Okay, so this much amount is the laptop. Okay, and Prathamesh is having this much amount. Alright children, so... You all have to find the difference. Difference means dono ke beech ka uh, distance, difference. What is the amount that is needed to make this total? Alright. So I will explain you with the sum. Now suppose the laptop is of 27,450. Okay. Laptop worth or laptop price. Alright. And Prathamish is having 22,970 rupees. So, Prathamish is having 22,975 rupees. So, what does they say? They say you all have to find the difference between the two amount. Okay. Having rupees. Alright. So, when you all have to find the difference between two amount. Okay. So, if this is 27, this is 22, you all can calculate orally also. But there is more numbers to it. Therefore, we have to subtract it and then find it. Okay. So, this is going to be the amount. Subtraction is to be done as we did in the last video also. Same. You all have to subtract. First, we will borrow 1 from 5. So, this will become 4. 4 and 7 cannot be subtracted. Therefore, we will borrow again 1 from this 4. So, it will become 3. 3 and 9 cannot be subtracted. Again, borrow 1 from 7. So, this will become 6. Alright, children. Now, hope I hope everyone has practiced this method because it is the easiest. You all have to first borrow all the numbers. Keep the sum ready. So, only subtraction is left at the end. Okay. So, 10 minus 5, it's going to be 5. 14 minus 7, it's going to be 7. After 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So, 4. And 6 minus 2 is going to be 4. 2 minus 2, obviously, it's going to be 0. Got it, children? So, what is the question asked? What is the total amount he still needs to be able to buy the laptop? Okay, I have written to buy twice. Okay, so... Conclusion is important. From here only, you all can write the conclusion. Rupees 4,475. He or Prathamesh, you all can write the name also. Still needs to buy the laptop. Isn't it easy? Now, how are you going to find when mixed problem sums have been given to y'all? So, it is very easy children. For addition, y'all have to see the video first. I have shown you few tricks and few words that y'all can recognize that it's an addition. Okay, but for subtraction, y'all have to use your mind. When y'all have to find difference between two numbers, means y'all have to subtract. Okay, means you'll have, if there is an amount being given 10 and the amount has been given 5, you'll have to find the difference, means you'll have to subtract it. Okay, so let's solve the next sum now. Now, a certain company produces 44,730 scooters in a certain year and 43,150 in the next. Okay, 43,150 in the next. How many more scooters did they produce in the previous year? Okay, so what you all have to do is this much scooters they produce in a certain year. Okay, certain year they have given and this much in the next year. How many more? Okay, so they have said how many more did they produce in the previous year? Matlab, this amount is greater, isn't it? And always remember for subtraction, you have to write the greater number first and then the smaller number. Okay, so first we will write 44,000. 
thousand seven hundred and thirty scooters in previous year. Okay, and in the next year, how much did they have to produce? They have to produce this much. So what they have asked? How much more they have produced this year? Okay, obviously there is a difference between the two numbers. Difference means the distance between the two numbers. Okay, scooter in next year. So both the amounts is given and always remember to write the bigger number at the top. Okay, now subtract it. Zero and zero can be subtracted. Three and five cannot be subtracted. Therefore, we have to borrow one from seven. This will become six. Six minus one is subtracted. Four upon three. Four minus three is also subtracted. So zero and zero will be zero. After five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So three plus three, six, seven, eight. Okay. Now six minus one, five. 4 minus 3, 1, 4 minus 4, 0. So, how many more, more scooters did they produce in the previous year? So, this is going to be your conclusion from the question only. 1580 more, isn't it more scooters they produced in previous year. Now many of you all make mistake while writing the conclusion children that is why I am showing you all that from the question only you all have to copy and write the conclusion. Okay you all don't have to get mixed up ki kya likhna hai. No you all have to take it from the question only. Okay few things you all have to delete like did we have to delete because it will again form a question only. So you all have to use your common sense over here and then from the question same to same sentence you all can copy by deleting few words from there which is not necessary which will make your question question only. Alright, let's solve the next question now. In a certain city the number of men is 16,37,856 and the number of women is 16,52,976. Now you will see this number is greater and this one is smaller. Okay, so first you all have to write which number? The women's number you all have to write. Okay, so by how many does the number of women exceed the number of men? Okay, again you all have to find the difference between the two numbers. So... First, as I said, we will write the bigger number that is 16,52,978 women. Isn't it? Women is this much and men is this much. Got it? So, men, you all have to write it below. From the very starting, I am saying for subtraction, you all have to write the smaller number at the second place. And this is the amount of men. Got it? Now, only simply you all have to subtract. 8 and 6 can be subtracted. 7 and 5 can be subtracted. 9 and 8 can also be subtracted. But 2 and 7 cannot be subtracted. So, you all have to borrow 1 from 5. This will become 4. 4 minus 3 it can be subtracted. And this obviously can be subtracted. So, 8 minus 6, 2. 7 minus 5, again 2. 9 minus 8, 1. 7 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Till what number you all have to count? Till 12. So, after 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So, the number is 5. 4 minus 3, 1. And 16 is going to be 0. Because both the 16s are there. So, in the question what they had asked. By how many does the number of women exceed the number of men? So, from here you all have to write the conclusion. Okay. So, see. Therefore, 15,122 the number of women exceed the number of men. Isn't it easy to solve? Let's solve the next question now. An organizer decided to collect 25 lakhs rupees for a certain project they collected 26 now see over there they had to collect okay so they had planned to collect 25 lakhs but 
वेर आफ्टर कलेक्शन दे गॉट द टोटल अमाउंट दिस मच विच इज मोर ओके सो थ्रू डोनेशन एंड अदर काइंड ऑफ एड बाय हाउ मच डिड दे एक्सीड द टारगेट ओके सो दिस वॉज द टारगेट गॉट इट एंड दे कलेक्टेड दिस मच विच इज मोर सो वॉट इज द डिफरेंस दैट यू ऑल हैव टू फाइंड सो फर्स्ट वी विल राइट द बिगर नंबर ऑलवेज राइट द बिगर नंबर ट्वेंटी सिक्स लैक्स दिस इज फिफ्टी सेवन थाउजेंड write it bigger because i'll do it over here only 26 like 57340 rupees okay and this was their target that is 25 lakhs was their target this is also rupees okay so very easily we can subtract children No need to borrow over here. Zero minus zero zero, four minus zero four, three minus zero three, seven minus zero seven, five minus five five minus zero five, six minus five one, and two minus two zero. Got it? Remember to write the bigger number. If you write twenty five above, the sum is going to go wrong. Now this is going to be the amount. So from the question, what they had asked by how much did they exceed? From here, you all have to take the conclusion. Therefore, rupees one lakh fifty-seven thousand three forty. They exceeded their target. Clear, children? Let's solve the next one. Use the number. Twenty-three thousand eight forty-nine and twenty-seven thousand zero fifty-six to make a subtraction problem. Solve the problem. Okay, so you all have to make a problem sum. Only the numbers have been given, and what sum we have to make? We have to make a subtraction problem sum. So this is going to be the sum. You all can make your subtraction problem. No problem, children. Or you all can copy mine also. No problem. Or you all can create any other problem sum of your own also. Okay, so in a garden twenty three eight forty nine. This was the first amount, so I will write the first amount. Saplings of rose plant and twenty seven thousand fifty six saplings of Mogra plant were planted. All right. How much more Mogra saplings were planted than? Rose saplings. Okay, so I have formed a subtraction problem sum. Okay, from the given numbers, you all can form your own also. No problem. Now over here, what they have given this much saplings of rose and this much saplings of mogra, which is greater? Mogra sapling is greater. So first we will write twenty-seven thousand fifty-six saplings of mogra. And twenty three thousand eight forty nine saplings of rose. Okay, so what they have asked? How much more saplings? So you all have to find the subtraction of both the saplings, isn't it? So let's subtract now. Now six and nine cannot be subtracted, so therefore this will become sixteen. Five will get cut to four. Four minus four zero. Very easily we can uh, subtract. Now zero is over here, so therefore we will take this as one, and this one was take borrowed from seven, so this is going to be six. Got it, children? Now after nine, you all have to count till sixteen. So ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So this is going to be seven. Four minus four, zero. Ten minus eight, two. Six minus three, three. Two minus two, zero. So this much. More, है ना? How much more? See, saplings were planted than rose sapling, mogra saplings and 
row saplings. Therefore, 3207 more Mogra saplings were planted then rose saplings i hope this exercise is clear to everyone children if you all find anything difficult or you all want a separate video on something please let me know in the comment section i would love to hear from you all see you in the next video till then take care bye